I want to name him Spot. Spot the fishy. What do you think he's finding over there? What do you think he's finding? There's a lot of Thomas Kincaid stuff out there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this is Raku. It's a little on the gaudy side with the grapevine on here, though. I gotta say, it's, uh... Well, I am definitely over my $50 budget. Definitely. Oh, there's more poo on the shelf. We've got a new little addition going into the tank. It's this is this is was on Rachel's bucket list of fish, a little porcupine puffer. So it's time to set him free. Are you having some trouble there? Yeah, just trying to get this ripped open. We gotta add some of our water in there. So we acclimate. Give that a, just a minute for him to. He's so cute. Be in the new water he's going to be in. He does not seem stressed at all, which is a good sign. Everybody else in the tank is stressing out because we're messing up here. The Blenny's looking at me like, "What you doing?" I think the uh, the fox face is completely hiding somewhere. Not happy at all. All right, here he goes. You ready? Got that camera rolling? Mm-hmm. We only get one shot. No, 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 come right this way, little guy. No, you're free. Look, and I didn't even have to put all the water in the tank. Oh, he's so cute. Look at poor little fox face over here all stressed out. Here, bring the camera over here. Show him what he looks like when he is not happy. They can't really see him. Uh, yeah, because he just gets all dark and mottled and says, uh-uh, I'm not happy. He does that to blend in with He the does, rocks, yeah. Right? He's just trying. He's got, got himself like wedged and holding still, waiting for the danger to pass. But then there's, oh there's gosh. That's the new star. Oh gosh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I want to name him Spot. Nobody jump out. Spot the fishy. I'm not a super huge fan of savers, but they did send me a coupon. Now, I read the small print. It's a 30% off if I spend $50, but they won't give me any more than $15 of credit. So if I spend more than $50, the percentage of the discount basically goes down. It's kind of an odd thing that they do. You think they'd want to reward you for spending more money, but no. So you know what? My goal is just to find $50 worth of stuff here. And uh, I'm out of savers. I don't come to by myself because it's not in the best part of town, but that's okay. I have security today. <laughs> I am here with my friend, Sunny Las Vegas. And so we're going to go in there and see what we can find to make some money with. All right, let's get shop done. First things first. Lucky cart. Oh, you think you're, oh, look, that one wants to come with us. All right, Sunny's working that aisle. I'm gonna work the next aisle over. I already found myself a pair of boots, but I'm not counting those because those are a personal purchase. So that doesn't count in my budget. These are actually kind of cool, but they're priced separately. Now, it really needs a third one, doesn't it? It's like sand on there. Kind of nice. But I don't think I'm going to get them. Don't think I'm going to get them. I'm going to see. Like, this is a test for me just to see how disciplined I can be and find the most profitable items possible as we're shopping here today. Ooh, that is Costa Boda. And it's a great color for 
Christmas time coming up here, and it's only $2.99. That is a definite, definite score, and we will take it. Even, even when you go to a store that has a little bit higher prices, you just got to dig a little harder. The, the gems are there. They're there. You'll find them. That's kind of pretty. A mosaic. Let's see, all purpose candles. I like wood candle holders, um, but I like to find them in pairs. I still, you know, I like things to match. I thought that was glass. It's not glass. It is um, plastic. We have some dogs. Ooh, $9.99. See, that's, that's not something I can get behind. But maybe these little cobalt blue uh, candle holders I could get behind. See if there's any damage. Oh, see a chip down here at the bottom. That makes them stay on the shelf. What do you think he's finding over there? What do you think he's finding? That is a really, really cute bunny tin. $1.99. I love to make little mystery boxes out of these old tins because the tin itself has some value and function. And so I will pick that one up for $1.99. She's cute too, but wouldn't hold very much. Oh goodness. Frames, frames, frames. Sometimes you can find some really cute things in the frames. Like look at these. You see little baby Winnie the Pooh figures. Three ninety. There's Piglet, there's Tigger, there's Eeyore, and there's Pooh. Yes, I found baby poo on the shelf these are tugging at me i'm they're just in cheap little frames oh what to do okay i can't i can't help myself i have to get them i was looking down here i like these plastic frames even though i mean they're they're like nothing special i'm looking for a name on them here Ikea. Yeah, they come from Ikea. They just have a super nice look to them. I mean, I'm not getting them. I just, I just think that uh, they're kind of fun. They're kind of cool. I could see myself actually using them to decorate with. I do. What is that? That is an odd little broken tomato in a very odd color. Is that a Jiminy? No way. Someone was asking me to find another Jiminy. Darn it, he, he's a mess. Unfortunately, this Jiminy, this Jiminy is not the one. We'll keep looking. Sonny, you passed up the wise guys. Who makes these wise guys? There's only two, there's only, there's only two wise guys. Oh, they're Schmidt. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and it's big, hard to ship. Yeah. These guys aren't so bad. They're Schmidt. They're just not, they're not overly exciting. She's plastic. She's a tree topper. Stay. Ooh frog planter. Older, possibly like a McCoy or a Shawnee. It does have that vibe. It's got one little chip right, right on the inside of the edge right there. But for $249, I think we can do okay with that still. We are in the kind of the knickknacks. Pretty little collies ornaments. They have a nice look. Let's see. Who else is hiding on this shelf? Oh, psh, there is like a, a whole, uh, what do you call, 
I, okay, is it terrible that I was thinking like gaggle, like a gaggle of geese? I, I don't know. They're just, okay. I'm not going to dig myself any further into that hole. Oh, is that the other wise guy? Look at it. There he is. No, oh no, he's the same as that one. He's a twin. He's the twin wise guy. This little Mickey Mouse guy. I do a lot of Disney stuff on whatnot. I like it because they have a Disney category. So I do quite well in the Disney category when I have enough Disney stuff together. But he doesn't excite me. I am not going to mess with him. This looks Austrian. Bavarian. There we go. Mon Bijou. Bavaria. I feel chips. I feel chips. Which is unfortunate because it's a really pretty piece. But now it's got chips on the underside. So for that reason, we're going to leave it. We've got some photograph art. We've got a little Delft shoe. Those don't excite me either. I'm not, I'm not a big Delft fan. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. They just never never did much for me and I'm in a little little bit in picky mode right now so got my eyes set on doing a little better today with what I pick up mud pie butterfly hook got some more like dishes down here Got a Thomas Kincaid feel. Yep, it is Thomas Kincaid. There's a lot of Thomas Kincaid stuff out there. Oh, 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 oh. My gosh, this is like my childhood recreated here. I think we had these up on the wall in my room. Stand by. I'm actually really super excited about finding these. Look how adorable they are. And it's $6.49 for the set of three. I love these so much. They're mine. All right, that was an exciting find, and I'll tell you why. Because there was an estate sale. I looked at the preview, and they had those prints in this estate sale, and I was like, I wanted to go just for those, and then I couldn't get there, and now here they are. Here they are at Savers. Wooden dog bone leash holder. Got a lacquer little dish. Here's a little um, milk glass plate. Probably a federal glass. I'm looking for the F on the back. It says something else on this one. Can't make it out. And I'm also trying to get underneath here to what appears to be a fused glass piece and like a basket weave. Just not overly exciting. So I'm going to leave that one. Keep looking. Maybe on another day I might have picked that up. Oh, a Dagus puzzle. It's the ballet rehearsal. Now I wonder if Sunny scanned this one. I don't think puzzles do as well as they used to. It's 549. I think I'm going to leave it. But that that's a nice print. Now this looks like it might be a Caruth? Is that the name? Let me find it. Let me find if it's marked. I'm trying to think. Artist name. He makes these. I have picked them up in the past. Yep, there it is. Okay, hold on. There we go. Can we make it out? No. I can't make it out. Carolith? Is it Carolith? Whatever that says right there that that um <laughs> it's of that order anyway and it's these little it's these little gnome people inside the leaf i still think it's the same and it's 349 even with a little tiny bit of damage i think we're okay at 349 it's kind of pretty what they did there but i had my eye on this piece it's kind of a modern just a fun whimsical looking piece. It's 
Sandra M Magsiman. Some of those can do pretty good. Oh, silver overlay on a ruby red. Eight forty nine though. Eight forty nine. Now with the thirty percent off, that would be like five sixty. It'd be like six bucks. But I'm getting very very close to going over my fifty dollars to where that discounts gonna start going down. So how much do I like this piece? I really do kind of like it. And I think this will sell well in one of my live sales. I think I will pick it up. I think I will. This is a really cool piece except for that great big chip right there. It's Wid Widner, Widner Hall. That's a shame. I probably would have picked that one up if it was not damaged, but too much damage, just too much damage. Let's hit some baggies. See what they got on the baggy wall here. Do love me a good savers baggy wall. <laughs> but I'm not finding much as of yet. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the baggy wall is not going to be as good to us today as in uh, times of past. Oh, got little, little succulents. They are nothing to write home about, though. We need something a little more substantial because we'll be wasting our discount if we get just kind of low valued nicky nacky stuff so we need to make it all count kitchen utensils mm, nothing nothing exciting there's one more little section we can go back to where we might be able to find something exciting maybe all right we got one more chance at the baggies Got a bunch of baseballs. Hmm. Got some fake fruit. I have plenty of fake fruit though. Plenty of it. Yeah, no, I think the baggies have let us down today. Indeed they have. Alright, we are in the wood section. Look at this sweet little decoupage. Unfortunately, it's pretty damaged. Pretty damaged. And then we've got a little metal mailbox. Not quite old enough to be of too much value. Some of the older ones, though, can do pretty darn good. Little Holly Hobby looking little girl there. Sonic the Hedgehog game pieces. You know, I like to pick up these little wood dishes uh, because of my own collection of crystals and spheres and things, and I need things to hold them in place. So this one's going to go on my shelf. That is a really sweet little rocking chair. A doll rocking chair. Got some kind of Scirocco wood plaques. Not an easy sell, not an easy sell. Let's see. I do love the wood section though. I love the hunt in the wood section because you just never know what they're gonna put in here from like handcrafted and souvenir items. It's kind of cool. These, I do also believe, are Scirocco. Let's see, 1960, 1964, 1960s. We've got a little chair and a sleeping cat. I think these are supposed to go together, maybe? No? I think they're each 350 
Oh, look at this. Look at this little baby. Sanitary dairy milk. Wilds bigger, better babies. Oh, builds bigger, better babies. That is an old advertising piece on a very old little frame uh, for $1.99. I think we're going to grab that. All right, back to contemplating these. I just don't know how I feel about them. And they do have some damage. I think that tells me I need to leave them. I just need to this time. Hopefully somebody else will find them and love them. Okay, what game is this? Do tell. Little round marbly things and then there's... I have no idea what game that is. No idea whatsoever. Wouldn't even know how to guess. See you later, alligator. Everything is better with bacon. Alrighty then. Some cute little vintage things on this shelf. Hmm. I know, I see it. I see it. I don't know how I feel about it though. It's kind of coarse. The painting is not great. It just, it doesn't excite me too much. Well, let's keep looking. Oh my gosh, I remember when these signs were so expensive to buy. $17.99 at, uh, let's see. Oh, it's a Hobby Lobby. It was $17.99, which means you could probably have gotten it for half off at some point. So $7 isn't enough of a deal for me because it's a little generic and you can find it again. It's kind of a cool screen. I know this is this is catching my eye over here. But do I need a little bird from what are you? Teleflower? I don't. I just don't need a little bird from Teleflower. I don't think I've ever, ever found anything in the savers plastic section. I'm trying to think. I don't I really don't think I have. So I don't give it a whole lot of time. We're going to hit the seasonal shelf here. He's awful cute. We are pretty much done now with Halloween. As I'm filming this, Halloween is tomorrow. So then it'll kind of be like, nah, it's done. Nobody's buying the Halloween stuff. Unless it's like the super vintage, cool, collectible, blow mold kind of thing. But we can really start giving a look at Christmas. Oh my gosh, it's going to be here before we know it now. It's crazy how quickly it comes up on us. Just like, boom, here it is. It's kind of a pretty piece. Kind of coarse, though. The seams are really rough. Is he vintage? He looks vintage, doesn't he? A little Santa jar. Goodness. Maybe not. I don't know. Capitamonte. Yep. There's Capitamonte. Very, very damaged that one is. Alright. Let's dig in the vases a little bit. Ooh. Already see something. This is a painted piece. Interesting. I, I thought for a moment it might have been like a cameo glass versus painted, uh, but it is indeed painted. This one's painted too. Nice, but not enough value to to deal with it. Echo Nova. That almost looks like a wine bottle holder versus a vase, although you can use it for a vase. I just think its original purpose might have been a wine bottle holder. I'm gonna really look down in here where people might miss things. Because sometimes stuff gets shoved to the back there and gets overlooked. Not seen anything that that has happened to in this case. Let's see. No, 
No, I think we're going to get through the vase section uh, without even touching too much, much less buying anything. Yeah, this is Raku. It's a little on the gaudy side with the grapevine on here, though. I gotta say, it's uh, A A Z O O forty five twenty six. It's um, it's not, it's not super appealing to me. It's just not. This reminds me. I wanted to get my kids a uh, a bagel cutter. I don't want a used one though. I'm gonna get them a new one because they've started eating bagels a lot. Oh, we've got some Franciscan apple. So 36 pieces for $36.99. Probably not a bad deal, except it is dishes and I don't want to deal with dishes. I just don't, I just don't like them. They do not spark any joy in me. So I leave those for somebody else. There's money to be made. But to me, it's all about you know, be staying motivated in this business by selling things that bring you joy. Like blue crab <laughs> cups, but they're plastic. I was hoping they were glass. Lots of Samuel Adams glasses. Oh, look at these little lobster. Looks like they came from maybe the Red Lobster. Is that a Red Lobster logo on there? I mean, it's a Red Lobster. I know that. I'm talking about the restaurant. There's three of them, I think it says. Pretty sure those are from the Red Lobster, aren't they? I mean, they're nice glasses. They just, I don't, I don't need them. I don't need them. Don't need them. I'm going to leave those. Man on the Moon, July twentieth, nineteen sixty-nine. It's a Libby. Too bad there isn't more than one of those. Well, this would be kind of cool. All right. Ooh, I see something cool. There is a sugar can. Oh, it's got blue paint all over it. How did it get blue paint all over it? And then there's a flower can that matches. Look at those rusty lids. Oh my goodness. Rusty goodness. And I'm trying to trying to figure out are they old or are they made to look old? That's that's kind of the key. They're not in super great condition, but man, they have a really really fantastic look to them. So I think I'm going to grab them. This is a neat piece of oops of depression glass, but the gold is really wearing off on this, unfortunately. And they're not worth a lot to begin with, so we gotta leave that one behind. That's a nice old pitcher, just not worth a whole bunch. That one's really sweet too, with the sunflowers on it. I do like the sunflowers, but some of the frost is coming off of that one. Oh, gotta leave ya. Gotta leave ya. Kinda breaks my heart. Got some watermelon. Got some nice pieces here for sure. I don't know what that says on there. I just don't want any big pieces to deal with right now. gonna leave it. Is that glass? No, ceramic. Ooh, look at that. That is a nice color combination. Iwerks Hawaii. It's from Hawaii. 449. You know what? I just really, really love that. Something about it. And it's dirty too. I fear when I clean that up, it's going to be even more vibrant. I think. I think we're going to get that. I think we are. Let's see what else might be hiding down here. Look at this one's interesting too. Not 
Not as interesting as that one, but it's worth worth taking a peek at. Okay. Oh, there's more of that Franciscan apple. Something else in here is kind of calling to me to take a a look at. Look at that. Oh, there's no maker's mark. Don't know who done it. It's cool though. It's cool. As is this little little cup. But we are gonna pass on it. There's a piece of temptations, six forty nine. Most Temptations sell somewhere in the $15 to $25 range. So I'll only pick it up if I can get it really super cheap. Ooh, this is, I believe Indiana Glass makes the flower dishes. This one is $3.49 and I am gonna grab it. Look at this interesting picture. Wow, that has a very, very, uh, Blanco feel, unfortunately. Oh, that is heartbreaking right there. Big, huge crack on that. That is a shame. And they're still asking $9.99. <laughs> that is a shame. I would have totally picked that up. What is this? It's soapstone with a carving on there. Okay, all right. And we got cookware galore here. Noah doesn't know it. Well, he's gonna know it if he edits this, but uh, no, I'm not gonna say it. I, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Let's just say uh, mama's cooking something up, you know, for uh, let's say a Christmas present. Yeah, we'll say it's gonna be a Christmas present. Look at this photo album. Is it truly vintage or is it, oh, it's vintage. Oh, printed and made in Japan. <gasps> that is so 60s. Oh my goodness. And it's in really good shape. Uh, yeah, that's coming with me. There is a super loud hum coming out of the speaker system. I don't know if that's coming through. If it is, I apologize because it's really obnoxious. It's almost giving me a headache. Oh, look at this little guy. A little salt cellar. It's got a little bit of damage on the back, but to me, that just says, look how old I am. And it's on the back. This hangs on the wall and it holds the salt for $4.49. We're gonna rescue that. Well, I am definitely over my $50 budget. Definitely. Oh, there's more poo on the shelf. But, you know, it's that's the way we go. If I find really good stuff to sell, I, I can't leave it behind. I just can't. So I'm going to take into consideration the actual price and, and, you know, just getting that $15 off of my total bill is just going to be a bonus. Ask for Dolly's laundry soap. Shoot. Oh, that's a neat old pastel, Charlotte Becker. Nice, nice, nice. Do I see it? Oh, I thought it was Toy Story. It's not, it just says toys. Fun giraffe with glasses. All right, ooh, Chanel. Oh, it's just a swatch of fabric with somebody put on there. See this little deer over here. He's got a broken ear. We're going to just really quick go through the small appliances because again, you never know what somebody else sticks someplace where it doesn't go and it's just waiting for you to find, but not today. Let's go through some of the soft goods over here. What are the other hangers? Scarf hangers. Oh, okay. 
Now it makes sense. I just don't have scarves. Well, I do have scarves. I just basically pile them in my drawer, though. I don't need a fancy hanger for my scarves. Oh, let's see. Any other placemats? Nah, nothing's calling me. All right. Anything in the pillows? Calling out to us today. Nope. I see nothing. Nothing intriguing. Okay, that guy's fun. Apparently somebody donated their giraffe collection. This looks like a dartboard. It is. Ooh, very well-worn dartboard. These are the baggies that Carrie likes. The toy baggies. You just never know what's going to be stuffed in the toy baggies. But I just don't have a lot of time to go through them today. But I am going to look through the plush. Because plush is one of my things. What are you? Oh my goodness. You are great creatures. We have a big mermaid. We got Dancer under there. Ooh, warm fuzzy socks. Oh, I forget that they sell warm fuzzy socks here. Um, no, nothing exciting even in the plush today. Little monkey's cute. Monkey in the banana, but he's really, really dirty. No, no plush today for me. Oh, their Halloween stuff is pretty wiped out at this point. And then we have purses. Savers always has a lot of purses. Nothing too exciting. Maybe Let's see what that is. It's um. Get over to my cart here. It's tooled leather with these beautiful purple flowers on it. Kind of like that. I don't see a price though. Oh, it's a little discolored. No, it's got some cracking and discoloration. So we're gonna put it back. Mm -hmm. well, hey, I'm kind of skimming through this side. There's a lot of purses. I got some purses at the swap meet that I think I'm pretty fixed up for my next whatnot sale for purses. Not seeing just anything even grabbing my attention. Nope. All right, let's see if we can figure out where Sunny went. Oh, you know what? I never looked through. I never looked through mugs. I completely skipped the mug aisle. We'll, we'll pick up our search for Sunny in just a moment. Dad's emergency jokes. What do you call a group of unorganized cats? A catastrophe. Oh, those are bad. How do you put how do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> okay, that's just bad. It's just bad. It's just bad. Oh look, we didn't have to find him. He found us. Oh, what movie was that from? You're like really pretty. It's a movie line. It's a movie line, and I don't remember which movie it was. You're like really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I don't know. Are you hitting on me? No. You're really pretty. 
It's a movie. I know. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, they're going to know. Put it in the comments if you know. Oh, these are 1994 Campbell Soup Kid mugs. Oh, let's see. Lord of the Dance. Huh. I don't know. I'm just not excited by too many mugs these days. Probably because I have so many. Some of it. Just some of it. Nah. Nothing exciting. Are they? Are they? They are. Yes. Oh, two ninety nine a piece though. I just don't think they do well enough to warrant paying three bucks each. Sadly, I'm gonna leave them. All right, that's it. I found Sunny. We're gonna go check out and uh, stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. All right, that's coming up right now. close I got a few more things to go but that's how close I came to staying within my budget <laughs> okay that was a successful I just and I, know, I never finished my sentence here. successful trip to savers I said it in my brain it just didn't come out of my mouth um, I, I have a really hard time staying under a budget I've never been very good at that, but I feel like I did okay. I only went like $25 over, you know, my 50. I would have to do the math to figure out how much that reduced my discount by, because it really wasn't then 30%. I might have to figure that. It's going to bug me until I know. Uh, but I did buy, oh, we're going off the curb. <laughs> crazy driver, Sandy, crazy driver. Crazy. Awesome. Uh, I did get those Minnetonka boots. Oh, I didn't even show those Minnetonka boots. I'm gonna have to show you the Minnetonka boots because I don't even think I got them on film. They're they're pretty ridiculously cool, and they they are my size, and I bought them for moi. They are for me. Um, so that that also raised up my my purchase amount just a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyway fun day at Savers. Haven't been to this one in a very long time because I won't come here alone. So thank you, Sonny. I know you came out empty-handed. No, I didn't. You didn't? No, I learned a lot. Oh, good. Okay. And more than anything, I got to hang out with an awesome friend. Oh, you're too nice. <laughs> I love these guys. All right. With that, you go be profitable and make it fun. <laughs> See you on the next one.